So if you're a web developer, you're probably working a lot with REST APIs uh, on the web or on your local machine. And to work with them, it's useful to have some kind of tool at your disposal. I'm going to show you which tool I'm using. I'm going to show you uh, this tool, uh, which I have been using for years and years. It's called Postman. If you're in the web space, you probably know this or might have even used it already. Uh, it's a pretty well, well-known uh, tool to invoke REST APIs, uh, which you want to interact with. I'm using it for all of my projects, all of my side projects or professional projects, but you can also work with it to work with other commercial parties like PayPal, uh, Discuss, uh, whoever else has uh, APIs at their disposal. I'm going to show you the basics in this video, how, how to work with it, how to make a post request, a get request, how we can start working with this. So over here you're seeing a uh, uh, Postman environment, so uh, on the big screen. Um, uh, you see I have a, a collection over here called Demo Collection 1, which has four requests inside it. Uh, one to create a, U a minifier URL, so I'm using my minifier, uh, my, my minifier project for this, um, which has the capability to create minifier URLs, uh, get those minifier URLs, and get them from different environments, of course, so for my testing and production environments. Uh, I also got a couple of other collections, so these are folders over here, uh, one for in, uh, working with Azure AD, uh, a workshop I did called Developer Day, Echo Commands from Postman, these are, these are the things you get out of, out of the box, and uh, one to work with Teams, so posting uh, or uh, sending uh, actionable items or whatever other uh, stuff you can send to Teams. Um, but first, the basics. So when creating a, a new request, you press the three uh, uh, dots over here and add a new request or add folders or do some other stuff. There are a lot of options. And most of the time you start with adding a request to a specific endpoint. In this case, the, the uh, create endpoint for, for me. Um, well, this is the this is the the body I'm sending, but you can choose whatever you want: binary, GraphQL, uh, other other types of uh, form data. Uh, you can specify headers if you want or if you need uh, authorization, which I'll come back to in in a different video. But you have a lot a lot of options over here. Uh, only necessary if you have some authorization, some parameters which you put in the in the query string like API version is 103 uh, so th this works you can also do this in the in the nice well uh, the, the query params uh, screen I don't need it for this request so removing it uh, and for from here on you can you can send it to your uh, API and as you see I'm getting a 200 okay within a reasonable amount of time and a response so this is the response I'm expecting for this specific post request so after creating this minified URL, you can also retrieve it via a GET uh, request and in invoke the API again with, well, the, the necessary parameters or the necessary uh, body. Um, at first, when you're starting out, you'll probably end up with multiple requests for different environments, like uh, I have the local host over here, and you can change this to whatever test environment, but it can also use the actual test, uh, create a new request and have the, the, the host name changed over here. Uh, same like with the, the, the production endpoint. So I can try this one. So this is HTTPS, of course. I'm sending it and it should provide me with a response if this slug uh, exists. So if this API route exists. And as you can see, I'm getting a 200 OK. So this is redirecting the, the mini to my actual website. Um, so not only for API requests, you can also invoke, well, regular websites. Everything on the web you can invoke via Postman. 
and you don't even need to use your own APIs uh, if, if you don't have them. If you navigate to the Explore tab over here in, in, the, in, the, in the top, you can see a lot of other popular APIs which are being exposed on the internet uh, for, for you to use, like a Formula One API, but also a useful one uh, could be PayPal APIs. So that's it for, for this video. Um, be sure to tune in uh, later because I'm going to explain a bit more on what you can actually do with Postman, what other uh, type of features there are uh, for you to use. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank <music> you.